between a long-standing tradition in Mount Lourdes that the leader of the liturgy committee delivers the homily. This year, indeed the past two years, have been somewhat strange and very unusual to say the least. We are gathered here this afternoon to celebrate our leavers virtually. A very different experience this is. As juniors, we observe the many senior groups plan and execute their leaving of Mount Lourdes. We used to talk and joke about when our time would come to leave this school, and I can't quite believe that this time is now. Leaving Mount Lourdes has, in a sense, crept up on us. I believe that it is true to say that we, as a year group, have a mixture of emotions right now. Many of us are focused on the loss of the many significant milestone events of our final year in secondary education that we have missed out on. Our formal, a common room, and the traditional Leavers Mass in the Assembly Hall with our teachers and family members present, all of which were lost to strict social distancing measures. Many students may feel sad about leaving school, but excited about what lies ahead, our new paths, University, the world of work, or maybe a gap year. Collectively, we are a positive year group. Therefore, reflect with gratitude on the experiences we have shared during our time on Mount Lourdes. You may ask yourself, what am I to take from Mount Lourdes? What have I gained during my time spent here? How do you summarise all that we have learnt and experienced into one speech? We have gained so many friendships, skills, joyful memories, values and life lessons. But as I stand in our school oratory, I believe that it is only fitting to highlight what we have gained from our years in Catholic education. Over the years, we have been growing in faith, celebrating the Eucharist and growing closer to God together. The commencement of each new year saw us kneel collectively at the opening school mass in St Michael's Church to pray for encouragement, help and guidance from God for any obstacles that may arise. As we move on, we will treasure such memories and the sense of belonging that they evoked. From the moment we stepped through the doors here at Mount Lourdes, whether it was in September 2014 or September 2019, we became part of a welcoming, inclusive and connected community. We have experienced a genuine and safe atmosphere in a school that integrates academic education with prayer and faith formation to create an environment that has both encouraged and challenged us to grow and to strive to be the best that we can be, to achieve our goals and to celebrate victory, to acknowledge our feelings and to learn from them. Time does not permit me to recall all the lessons that we have learnt. Our education in Mount Lourdes has nurtured in us the spirit of charity. Over the years, we have remembered and worked to help those less fortunate than us through projects and events such as the St Vincent de Paul Christmas Hampers, non uniform days and concerned fasts. We have been taught to always reach out and help others, whether it be through our time or our money. This is a value that I hope that you all take with you throughout your life. Before we leave our second home, there are a number of people that we would like to express our gratitude to. To all the staff on Mount Lourdes, with a special mention to our Heads of Year, Mrs Conroy, Mr Timoney and Mr McGuinness. We thank you for all your hard work and dedication. We know that your job does not end at half three when the final bell rings. We acknowledge that you too have faced extra stress and additional workload with the changes in the exam process. To Mrs Colin, we thank you for taking on board all of our concerns your positive leadership and calm attitude have helped pull us through these past two years. We really appreciate your constant dedication to keep students and parents updated and informed, especially during these rapidly changing and challenging times. Your dedication to us students shows and is much appreciated. We wish you all the best. May you have a blessed and long, fruitful career to come. On behalf of the year group, I would like to thank our very first teachers, our parents and families. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for the endless love, support and guidance, for always believing in our ability, guiding and keeping us on the right paths, for wiping away our many tears and for the numerous cups of tea that have been delivered to our bedrooms over the last number of months, for teaching us the valuable qualities of patience, determination and to never give up. You have been the best cheerleaders of our lives. 
We are eternally grateful and will continue to strive to make you proud. So, we arrive, albeit abruptly, at the end of this academic year and to leaving post-primary education. We are at the arrival of a new chapter in our lives, the title of which differs for each of us. However, for all of us, it is in chapter that we'll see the entrance of new characters, a host of new experiences and new learning curves. My hope is that we all think back to who we are today at Mount Lourdes as being the foundational rock or cornerstone for the people that we are to become in these next chapters. I hope that we will always hold on to the values and ideas and the sense of possibility that we have at this time in our lives. As we journey forth, it is only appropriate that we end with a blessing. Embarking on a journey which began some time ago, how could you have imagined all the things you'd come to know? You learn to use each challenge as an opportunity to overcome each problem despite adversity. It wasn't easy keeping up with your friends at school, but you held on to your beliefs and followed the golden rule. You found your voice and chose a path that honours who you are, and that, I think, may be the greatest lesson learned so far. For no one can be prouder of the person you've become, and that is why I am confident that the best is yet to come. May you never waste a moment wishing life was not unfair, rather use the gifts God gave you to change the world out there. Your graduation from Mount Lourdes signals that you are on your way. So spread your wings and fly, my friends, forever and a day. May God bless us and keep us safe as we embark on this journey of life.